Yo, nigga, I'm down. I didn't stroke my dick in your face, you bitch ass. <laughs> Yo, this is an Angelo exclusive. Yo, send that shit again. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm like, I'm like located in like the sketchiest area ever. I'm not even, I don't want to move the camera because like this is literally, like this might not, for my, um, my video viewers, this might, this might not look like the best angle ever. I'm in a car, by the way. But this might not look like the best angle of all time. However, this is like the best angle I could get in this car. Because I'm not in my car. <clears throat> I'm in my dad's car because my dad's car was blocking my car. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just take his car. Um, but I'm in like the sketchiest area ever. It's like, I'm not in, like, I'm literally in the middle of the woods. So you know how like, there's like parking lots. Hold up, let me put the, let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb before somebody calls me. Hold up. Do not, okay. So I'm in like... A parking lot parking lot i'm in like i'm in like a parking space where you know like a parking space before you go into like a trail in the middle of the woods yeah i'm in i'm in a parking space going into the trail of the woods but also the parking space is literally like in the middle of the woods as well so like you know there's only like um like a fucking dirt roadway to get to this parking spot and then you go on to the trail so i'm literally in the woods by myself and it's nighttime and i i pray to god no one pulls up i pray to i pray to god because i'm gonna look like an idiot but also like because i'm still in my hometown so people are like i'm scared that like if someone comes here right like they're they're gonna come here and like i don't know like smoke weed or some shit right but like i'm scared they they might recognize me you feel me be like what's this kid doing He's got like, like my all my lights are off though. Like I, I don't got no lights on. It's it's dark. It looks like I'm performing like black, you know, art and shit. Like black, uh, is that called? I don't know. It just looks like I'm doing like some fucking voodoo, like witchcraft shit. You feel me? But like, anyway, who fucking know? Who who would know? You know? Oh, he's recording child. Like no one would know I'm recording Chop's way. But that's what I'm doing. And I had to come here because my dad was like. My dad called me like half an hour ago. He's like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, because my dad went far this morning. And he's like, by the way, I'm going to be home in like 20 minutes. I was like, oh, fuck, you know, Chopsway hasn't been recorded. And I have to do this shit by myself today. I'll explain that. But I'm like, I have to do this shit by myself today. So I had to get out of there quick and think of a spot on where to go. And this, this just so happened to be like the most private area, like the area where I knew nobody's going to pull up to. Um... And yeah, I came, I came here to record. If this car shuts down, luckily my house is like a 15 minute walk. So I can literally just walk home. But um, this is this is the sketchiest spot Chops has ever been recorded. Even like that's including last episode where there was a break of live on Chops Way. This is, this is fucking scarier than that. Because like literally I cannot see shit. I can't like, th- I have to, I had to turn on like the light mode. Um, the light mode, the night mode on my camera like. You know, because, like, I'm scared to, like, turn on. Like, what if a bear sees it? You feel me? But, yeah, anyways. um, <clears throat> So, to answer the question as to why I'm alone right now. um, Axel, the other half of Chop's Way. I think his name is out there, right? I don't know. If, if not, I've, ma- I've made it known uh, recently. But, yeah, Axel, um, he had, he, I don't know. He went to, like, a funeral or something. Funeral. He went to like a funeral with his like family or not a funeral what was it it was like a baptism or something one of his cousins or somebody and um i called him at like 1 p.m i'm like because he told me like beforehand he said he was gonna go out too so i call him i'm like yo like what's up what's up like what's the word when, we gonna, when are we gonna record chops way because chops way is the highlight of my week guys like not nah, like i'm saying that like you might think like I'm I'm like fucking around and shit, but I'm so dead ass when I say recording Chop Sway is the highlight of my week. This is the highlight of my week. This is the, this shows you how shitty my fucking life is. It's not that shitty. It's just boring. But um, <clears throat> either way. So he call I call him at like one o'clock, and I'm like, oh bro, well like what time are like what time are you gonna come back? Or uh, no, first I asked him. I was like, you still going to that to that shit with your parents? And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm still going. Like I'm about to dip. I was like, oh, cool, like, what time, uh, I was like, what time you get out? He's like, uh, I don't know, like, six, seven, and he's like, I'll call you when I get out. I'm like, sure, and I was waiting on this fucking, uh, fucking bum, bro, 
like I'm sorry, but this this might like half of this episode might turn into a little rant, uh, cause like this dude did me so dirty today. So this bum calls me at like literally an hour ago. It's like it's like eight o'clock. He called me like an hour and a half ago, like seven o'clock. He calls me, and he's like, "Yo, bro, like," he's like, "I'm home." I was like, "Oh, word, what, like, what's up?" And he's like, "Yo, bro, I'm tired, bro. I can't." I can't like go like we can't rec- like I can't go over there today, so I came up with a simple solution. Right, I was like, listen, I was like, all right, I'll give you like, I usually give bro like leeway on most things because like most things I could just like you know, like most things is like okay I can do that. You feel me? Like, I give lee I give him leeway on some things that I ask him to do. Right, but this time this chops way right. This is like a group thing. So, like, obviously, like, no, like, I don't care. He can't have leeway when it comes to this shit. So I give him two options, two options. I'm like, okay, okay. I was like, you either go to your car, because, like, he was, obviously, he was with his family, so he can't say the crazy shit he usually says on Chop's Way around them, right? So I'm like, okay, you either, okay, you either go to your car and um, just we'll record Chop's Way, like, virtually, because... On the app, we record chops and you can, like, do with other people. So I was like, okay, so you either, like, get somebody else. Um, somebody else, no. You either go to your car, and we'll just do it virtually. Or you, you green light me for doing, uh, to do a dolo, right? Um, so he was, like, pondering for, like, literally, like, two or three minutes. And, like, whilst I'm on the phone with him, I'm on this thinker. So him thinking two, three minutes gives me enough time to wipe my ass. Um, and then he, he finally, he's like, yo. I was like, yo. He's like, he's like, nah, bro. Um, he's like, I'm mad tired. I got mad back pain. Like, bro, you're 19, bro. What the fuck kind of back pain are you? Like, this, he doesn't have scoliosis. Bro, you don't have fucking, what back pain, bro? Like, you literally, like, you didn't do shit today. You went to a fucking baptism. You fucking bum! Anyways, um... You went to a fucking baptism. What kind of fucking what kind what kind of back pain can you have from that shit? You were sitting here, you were sitting on your ass the whole day. What whatever, whatever, right? You think you know me? On some, on some JPEG mafia, Chris Jericho shit, right? You think you know me? No, listen, I don't, I don't know, right? I think brother's just giving an excuse. He just doesn't want to do it, right? So I'm like, all right. He's like, he's like, you just do it solo. So I'm like, you know. Here we are. I'm by myself. It is burning hot in this shit. I gotta... Alright. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep it... No, 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 no. I don't wanna... See... I don't know. Because I, I don't wanna... Um, I don't wanna do myself. Like... Um, you know how, like... There's, like, those horror stories of, like, parents going into, like... I don't know, a shop or something. And they leave their, their kid in the car. And their kid suffocates. Like, I don't want that to happen to me. But, like, low-key... the 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 sound of like <laughs> the sound of like the air is low key keeping me at ease cuz this shit is fucking scary you know and like i'm not even overreacting like if you if somebody was right next to me they'd be fucking scared this shit would not fly with axel like that's the thing right the, if i was with axel this shit would not fly he's like yo bro let's get the fuck out of here i'm scared but since i'm dolo i have a little bit more of control of what goes on right so this is like this episode's kind of like a prelude, right? So you know how um I don't was it was it Kanye where like they had like Frank's interlude or some shit? I don't know, right? That like Frank's Ocean song, right? So you know how like when certain artists they got other artists on their album, but like the song that they have the other artists on is just like them, right? The other artists and that's it, right? That's kind of that's kind of what this episode is right here. It's 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 Chop's way. It, but it's just me. It's like my, my interlude, my episode. So I'm gonna go off the rails. I'm I'm in complete control of what happens today. So that's nice. And hence, you know, since me having full control, look where I'm at. I don't know if I'm gonna get attacked by a fucking bear. I'm pretty sure we have grizzlies out here. So um, if I die, this is like on some Blair Witch shit. You feel me? So if I die, I'm gonna go out on some Blair Witch shit. You feel me? That's I shouldn't be saying that because again, bro, like that, me putting that out into the world, it might actually fucking happen. Either that or like somebody I fucking know is gonna like pull up behind me, and like it'll be like, what the fuck is he doing talking into a camera? Fucking weirdo, fucking kill yourself. And then, 
And then I'm actually yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. I have some rope in the back and I have a notebook right here to write my fucking my fucking suicide note. I'm gonna go fucking hang myself. Uh on a serious note, that was a joke. I I would never kill myself. Actually, you know what? I would I'm so much against killing myself that if I ever if I ever die and the feds ever say that the cause of my death was a suicide, I want you guys to I want anyone who this may concern, I want everyone to investigate. Cause I will never I will state that right the fuck now. I will never kill myself. Never. So if I come up in the feds, the FBI, the CIA, the DEA is like, oh, he killed himself. They fucking murdered me. I, bro. Bro, they, they're going to fucking, um, make it. What? McAfee? What's, what was that guy's? McAfee. They're going to McAfee me, bro. I think, I think, right. They said he killed himself, but he never, he didn't kill. Yeah. They're going to McAfee me, bro. You know, do me like they did McAfee. You know, fucking kill me, bro. And I'm. I will never kill myself, so... Listen, bro, I'm just trying to not get myself in that situation. But if I do ever get myself to that situation... Because I'm a fucking dumbass, right? If I ever get myself into a situation where I get into legal trouble... And, like, the feds want to kill me... Or, like, some very power... If the Illuminati wants to kill me... Or some shit... And if they rule it a suicide, just know. Just know, you know? I I have to... I have to keep... Like, um, like some sort of caution out for that because I know I'm a dumbass and I know at some point I'll get myself into some really big problems to where like a statement like this is necessary. I know I wish I wasn't this retarded either, but it's it's necessary. It's necessary. One day I'm gonna get into myself into some trouble or somebody's gonna end up killing me. And you know, and they're gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm, and like, you know, it's gonna be unfair. Because the people who kill me are trying will not try will try to get away with this as every criminal does. But instead it's the fucking the United States government and it's not just any random criminal. Fuck the US government. I love Amer I love I love being American and I love I I love this country, but like I hate the government. And I think that goes for most people. I think like most people. Well, I don't, you don't see it that as much in the U.S. Well, no, no, no. Well, obviously you do, right? But I'm saying, like, amongst, like, young people. You don't see, like, amongst young people, like, people really saying they love their country that much. Like, you know, I'm proud to be, like, a, I'm proud to be an American. But, like, I fuck with being, like, an American, you know, an American. I fuck with the U.S. I just hate the the government, and I think that, like, yeah, like I just I just really fucking hate the government. I think that's like that's something I see a lot in like Europe and shit, you feel me? Like I don't know, like the UK or some shit, you know what I mean? Like they'll be like, Yeah, you know it'll be more like them like just like like for example, I get so fucking patriotic when it comes to like sports like football, like the national team, like the US men's national team for for football of course. Like football football, not American football. Fuck American football. Fucking joke of a sport. If you watch American football, you might be more red than I am. There's no diss towards disabled people, you, but you're just stupid. You feel me? Like, you're just dumb. Like, did, bro, only the kicker uses his foot. How is that football? Anyways. But yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, my patriotism. So my patriot, my levels of patriotism fucking skyrocket whenever the U.S. men's national team plays. Like, dude, dude I'm like... Bro, I turned a fucking, a fucking trompista when I fucking, when I, not like I, I, like in an ideology way, but like, uh, like an American spirit way, you feel me? Like, you know, you know, MAGA guys are like the most patriotic people on fucking planet Earth. I, tu- you know what I mean? I just turn into a right wing. <laughs> I turn into a right winger when, when I, when it gets to like national sports, you know, um, Whereas, like, because, you know, uh, stereotypically, like, a right winger is more, like, proud. Like, he's got more national pride than, like, 
you know, a left winger or some shit. It's 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 not like a generalization or anything. I just genuinely believe that's that's truthful. I don't I don't really see that much like love for the for like the nation, like national pride on the left and I do the right. And that's hey man, that's not a bad thing. I mean the US government is a fucking shithole. I fucking hate like I this is why I hate the US government. Yeah, you remember you guys um Remember that one guy? His name? I don't fucking remember that one Hispanic dude. He's he'd be like cocaina. Uh so my my buddy Mark uh uses gasoline tank to fucking kill him and his whole family. Y'all remember that guy? That's how I feel like when I start talking about the US government. Because I'm pretty sure he made a video about it's like people ask me why I hate the US military. Yeah, I feel I feel like that guy when I start talking about like like I don't know, the government and shit. But that's besides the point, right? Chopsway is apolitical for the most part. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else I was going to say. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. I, was, I did ask on, like, a funny thing to say, and then they're just fucking left like this, you know? I'm so... Re- that, and that shit happens all the fucking time, too. Like, I got I got some real, like, smart shit to say, and then my, my head gets, like, caught up in like a fucking knot and it just oh like all all like creative imaginative flow within my mind just fucking vanishes it's like i forget everything i'm i'm back to like homer simpson fucking toy monkey head you feel me oh, that's fucking annoying on some um on some Anthony mejia fucking 1985 fucking world war ii veteran fucking vietnam shit not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have to revert to just telling, telling him stories of my past, cause you know, Anthony, every time he opens his mouth, it's either him talking about, um, how he, it's either him talking about a 17 year old, or him talking about some story from his, from his past, so I guess I'm gonna just have to get on some Anthony, may he, like, no, uh, no 17 year old shit, just talking about my past, so, um, I don't know, I'm gonna, let me think. What's a, what's like a good story to tell? Something that's like slightly interesting. Cause I know my life is like mad boring and shit. So a lot of this shit, a lot of the shit of my life has either already been said or like it's just not worth bringing up. There, there's one thing that comes to mind that's like half and half. But if it's half and half, it's already worth talking about. So here goes nothing. So when I was like. 13 I'd say like yeah I don't know it was like either 8th grade or 7th grade I had this buddy um this little white kid uh he was white like he looked he looked whiter than me but like I'm pretty sure his dad was like half Puerto Rican or his dad was Puerto Rican but I don't know this kid was like again he was whiter than me the kid had like it was either blonde hair or like really bright bright brown it was either blonde hair or really bright um brown hair like I don't I can't remember I don't I don't know how most people at went to high school look like I'm not gonna lie like I don't know how most of the people I went to high school like I don't know most of their names and shit this, this tells you how much of a fucking loser I was in high school fuck you right at least I didn't pee anyways <clears throat> holy shit I'm, I'm getting distracted so I had this friend right and like this kid I don't know he was I he was into like he was similar to me in some way when we were kids, um, so, we, um, during this time, I was, like, into, like, streetwear culture, like, I was really deep into streetwear, streetwear culture, especially, like, the, the New York streetwear scene with, like, Supreme and, like, um, like, you guys remember Noah and Kith and shit, you know, like, like this is 2017, 2018 shit, and then there was, like, Spaghetti Boys, and there was Kerwin Frost, you know, with Kerwin Frost, Father Steve, Luca Sabat, and Ass Pizza. And I was a huge fan of Ass Pizza. I love this guy. Like, I thought what he did was dope. Like, just like, you know, just some real, like, you know, like, independent shit where he's, like, dude, like, I remember watching dude, like, bro, bro, literally, I think he still does. Like, like, the way bro gets his shit out is, like, he literally just, like, goes to random, like, parking lots and, like, sells 
is like sh- like he'll post on his story be like yo I'm at this like Walmart parking lot pull up and like there'll be like fucking 50 kids 100 kids that pull up and he just like sells his shit there and I used to think that was so fucking dope like I was like yo that shit is like that shit's fire right like this dude's like doing it like on his own like he said fuck the industry like yeah he has ties but like at the end of the day you know he's like he doesn't have like industry push so I was like yo like not only do I think this shit's cool as fuck, but it's also, like, doable. It's super doable. Like, as Pizza showed me, like, you can really do something if you want to. You just gotta fucking put the work in. Shout out. Shout out Ass Pizza. But I was really into Ass Pizza at the time. And, um, I was, I, I told a bu- this buddy of mine, right? This buddy, I'm pretty sure he was, like, a huge Uzi fan. So, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, he was, like, dumb, right? So, I told him about it. And he thought I was, like, he was, so I was, like, yo. Let's start a clothing brand. <laughs> Let's start a clothing brand. A clothing brand for me at the time was literally just like screen, like screen printed shirts and shit. And like, I don't know, jackets. Like, like literally just shirts and jackets. And so I was like, yo, let's start, start a clothing brand. And like, bro. And he's like, I bet. So we started sketching. We sketched out ideas for like a week. And then we came, we came to this one name. Um... We came to this name. What was it? I think it was Vendicta. Vendicta. I don't. And then I think some other friend gave like gave us the idea. I think he. I think that's like revenge in Italian or Latin or some shit. I don't remember. I think it's Italian. He's like, yo, this is it. Cause I guess he just like. I, I think this buddy was like into like. I don't know. He's a skater. I think he he was into like revenge and like revenge X storm for me and Connor and shit so I mean, he's just like what's well, close to the word revenge it's like vengeance so he's like he puts it into I, I literally see him seen him do it he just puts vengeance into fucking Google Translate and then fucking he just comes off and dick that me and my 13 year old buddy were like that's the hardest shit ever so we started like drawing up some logos and this is one of them like one of the drawings and shit I don't want to leak anything but like that was gonna be our logo. Like that that shit right there. That was that was gonna be literally that that's it, bro. Like we had no like creative like in a, like we were literally the laziest pieces of shit, but we were thirteen, so we thought like nothing was like the hardest shit ever. So, um Yeah, we like um he pulls up to my house and we come up with a plan. Hold up. Let me let me see if I can I'm gonna have to turn on this light. Um <clears throat> we come up with this plan, like this like step by step plan to like make this shit. And like yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the I don't know, I don't want you to look too much into detail because 'cause I'm low key embarrassed as shit by this, but like we we ha- I wrote up a quick step by stamp plan stand by step step by step uh plan shit um how much was it one two three four five six seven steps seven seven steps we cooked up this is hurting my eyes we cooked up seven steps or seven steps to success and shit um so yeah we we had the steps we had the motivate well motivation's iffy right because like so like we had the idea and um I bought um so right then I like had to beg my dad to buy us sample um sample blanks like sample blank shirts and shit cuz it I don't know why my parents were being such dickheads that shit literally cost like 20 bucks for like five blank t-shirts I don't know why they were like fucking like I don't know they were like reluctant like I don't know I guess most parents wouldn't I don't, I don't know, it was like 20 bucks. I was like, dude, you have $20. Like, like the thing is, like, I know my parents, like, we're, I'm, like, from the burbs, right? My parents got, like, my dad has 20 bucks, bro. I live in the burbs. So I was like, you have $20, bro, please. I, I, I low-key had to beg him. I low-key had to beg my dad to buy it, but he bought it. So uh, we came to agreement. I would buy the fucking, I would buy the T-shirts, and he would buy the, um, the, what was it? It was like some pa- some like print print paper, to like um, cause we we didn't we didn't have the fucking funds like, afford like 
um, screen printing. You know, like the the panels, the screen printing panels, where it's like the shit. You know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The the panels, right? So we couldn't like... Like, I don't know. To me, it was just like mad difficult to make one or like just order one. Else. So I was like, okay, well, first let's just like, you know, like just do it with paper, you know, just print the designs, get the paper and fucking iron it on the shirt, right? And that, that was our plans for our first collection. So he bought the paper. I bought the shirts. And um, that's kind of where, where it died. I'm not going to lie. That's that's where the plan died. I'm not... Like, we we had it, and we had the resources, and then, like, we just never met up, like, outside of school ever again. You feel me? Like, we talked about it for, like, a week after, and, then, like, and I was still buddies with this kid, right? I'm pretty, like... I'm pr- Did we ever hang out outside of school ever again? I don't think so. I don't think I ever saw him outside of school ever again. But, like... We just never, like... We, we like, stopped talking about it. Like, we were still friends. I would talk to this kid every day. We just stopped talking about it. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. And so... Then and there, Vendicta died. So... <laughs> if Child Slayer ever goes up on some funny shit, I low-key want to start it back up again. Just just for the... Just for, like, the memes. Not memes, but, you know, just for, like... It would be funny as fuck if, like, fucking... If... If I fucking continue Vindicta off of, like, Chops, what you feel me? But, yeah, R.I.P. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, comment R.I.P. Vindicta. <laughs> R.I.P. that shit, dog. I, um, that shit would have been... Honestly, it would, it would, we had, like, a plan to, like, sell it at school and shit. Just, like, like show it off to people. And then, like, beg people to buy it. And then with... I think I had it planned out. I was like, if we sell everything, I think we're going to, like, price them at, like, 15 bucks each. Because, like, no one wants to buy a $20 t like, nothing t-shirt. So, we were like, okay, we're going to sell them mad cheap. And then we're going to get the funds from that to buy hoodies and shit. And then, hood, because uh, I knew hoodies would sell, right? Like, hoodies, hoodies would 100% sell. Because, like, we were middle school kids, bro. Middle, middle school kids buy any hoodie that, like, fits them okay. You feel me? You can have, like, a fucking asshole, like fucking it can have like what is this shit? goatsy you know whatever that shit is you know you know what i'm talking about goatsy goatsy it can have goatsy on it like and people would still fucking middle school kids would still buy that shit if it fit them slightly baggy but um yeah our like next step was like hoodies we were like so i think it started off with like five t-shirts and then it was gonna go okay and then next drop is gonna be super limited we're gonna have three hoodies and we're gonna sell them for for how much was it? I think we're gonna sell them for forty bucks each, which I mean forty bucks for a hoodie isn't terrible. Isn't terrible. I mean they're new hoodies, right? So I was like, okay, and they're gonna be super limited. Like we were going on some like supreme logic off of this. Yo, low key, low key. I now now that I'm thinking about, it, I wish I would have gone ahead with it because this shit low key sounds cool as fuck to me. Like, like obvi- when I when I was lo- when I would look back on this shit like. A year or two years ago, you know, I would think it's cringe, but that's because I was fucking depressed a year or two. I was, a, I was a fat, broken, retarded piece of shit and depressed. So like, I would just like everything about myself made me cringe. But now looking, you know, I'm, I'm in a better spot than I was like literally like seven months ago. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a better spot right now than I was a year ago. So, um, now looking back on it, it's like, yo. Like, I was young as fuck. Why didn't I go ahead with it, right? And, like, now that I'm retelling this story, I'm thinking about it. I was like, damn. I should have I should have gone ahead with that shit. Because that shit sounds so fucking dope. Like, what if it did go for it? Like, like essentially, like, I'm trying to do the same shit with Chop Suey now. And, like, why didn't I ever think Chop Suey was cringe, you know? I remember, like... When we were, like, 12, 13, me and Axel tried to do, like, some... Back in 2018, before everyone had a fucking podcast, right? Before everyone... We tried to, like, do podcasting back in, like, 2018. I swear to God. I, I swear on my fucking life we were trying to do podcasts back in 2018. And, like, we had, like, five episodes out on this. Um, I have the app right here. Hold up. Let me try not to end. Hold up. Um, what's the app called? 
this am, am I leaking anything? Nah, right? Um, where is that shit? I have Yelp. Hold up. Record, right? This shit. Um, a studio. Some, some like shit, right? Like some podcast recording shit. And like, dude, I, um, we recorded like five, I'd say like 10 minute episodes and shit. I thought they were cool, and I wish I had a fucking deleted them, because then, like, I would have fucking, like, solid proof how we've been doing this for a minute, because I feel like, I feel like if people ever stumble upon chops, like, they're, like, the first instinct is just gonna be like, oh, it's just, like, another set of kids trying to do, like, some fucking podcast, because everyone else is fucking doing it. They probably saw fucking, you know, people are probably, probably gonna think we're on some, like, oh, you know, on some, like, fucking 10-year-old shit where we saw Jake Paul do something, so we fucking did it ourselves some shit but like no we really we really been trying to do this since like fucking jits bro we've been trying to do this shit since like 2k18 2k i have um and one of the one of the one of the other episodes i I don't remember what it was like it has to be within like the third one of the 30s right one of the episodes like i don't it's either episode like from 31 i know there's a big range but it's either from episode 31 to episode 38 or so right there's um there's a video where, like, the background video is not, like... It's, like, like old recordings that I took on this camera right here. And, um... Like, it's just a compilation of videos. Because I had uh, another video on... Like, a, I had, like, a movie or some shit. Um, and that shit got, like, taken down. <clears throat> it didn't get taken down. I tried uploading it. And then YouTube's copy copyright ID was, like... Yeah, like, for the... Bizar- um, for one of our episodes... I have, um, like, I have, a I have, like, part of the Berserk movie going over it, and, like, uh, YouTube copyright OD was, I, OD, ID was, like, oh, yeah, that's a copyright claimed, and here are the fucking countries that, like, allow this shit to be viewed, um, so for that video, um, it's blocked in Italy, so nobody in Italy can watch it, um, RIP, right, like, Bambino, fucking, fuck Inter Milan, but, um, but, like, for, like, the major countries, like, the UK, the US, India, Japan, you know, like, those those countries, it was, like, oh, you know, it's it's still viewable in the US, so I was, like, fuck it, I'm gonna just upload it like that. But, like, another, another I don't know, I was, like, trying to use, another, I think I was trying to use End of Evangelion or some shit, because, um, if you don't watch our shorts, if you, if you do, if, if you stumbled upon our shorts or a TikTok or whatever, it's pretty obvious I'm a pretty big Evangelion fan, so, um, I'll, yeah, like, I tried using it, the Ava, end of Evangelion movie over it, and the show was like, nah, um, you can't, like, we're blocking this, like, worldwide if you decide to upload it like this, so, like, fuck, right, I need to find something else, and then on my computer, I have, like, saved, like, just a whole bunch of random videos, like, me recording my buddy, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do that, and at the very fucking end is a recording of me, Axel, and Anthony, um, me, Axel, and Anthony, gotta stop saying anything. Me, Axel, and Anthony, and we're we're in we're in this room. We used to call it the podcast room. So in our church, it's like it's um, it's like how many stories is it? One, two, three. It's like four stories, but like the bottom story is like a basement. That's where we do church. It's like and there's, there's multiple churches in this one like building, right? And there's like a there's like the the top floor. I don't like that sound. There's a sound. I hope I don't get killed. Hopefully. I. Right, anyways, I'm I'm gonna keep going, right? Cause I have to roll with the punches. Stop being a pussy. Anyways, um, there was a room we used to call this the podcast room, cause there was like microphones and there was like a computer there and shit. And we used to like fucking like just role play doing podcasts on that shit. And we used to do this from like 2017 to 20. To 2018 to 2019 no 2017 to 2019 we, we would do this every saturday we would go up there and we'd fucking role play podcast so this really shows like we've been trying to do this for a long time we recorded podcasts like all the way back in like 2018 but i remember i showed it to this one buddy i had a discord friend um back in i don't know back in the day, like 2019 or some shit and I sent it to her, right? Because she was like, oh, like, what are you doing? 
And I was like, oh, like I was just like working on this like podcast thing I'm doing. And she's like, oh, really? Like, let me, let me, let me listen to that senator. And she's just like, she sent laughing emojis. So she's like, oh, that's cute. And I was so. That scared the shit out of me. Fuck you. Um. Fuck. But yeah, she was like, oh, that's cute. I was like, really, bro? Like, cute? And like, you know, like, laughing emojis said that that's cute. And that shit really just, like, demotivated me. So I just, like, deleted that shit. But now, like, you know, and I wish... Now, looking back at it, I wish I never, like, deleted it. So just, just to, like, like pres- preserve that shit, you know, just be like, oh, like, check my fucking... You know, where I've gone... Like, just in general. Because, like, I'm... I don't know. This is, like, these... These podcasts, right? They're, like... They're, like, an outlet for people. This is, like, for us to, like, just speak our minds and shit. Because, you know... I'm... You know, me, Axe, we're not really allowed to, like, talk like this, like, in real life. Because, like, people are going to get weirded out. And shit, people are going to look at us weird. Like, look at us sideways and shit. You know, we're not really allowed to show this side of us. But... On the internet, there's a fucking... There's room for everybody. That's what I love about the internet. Like, there's literally room for everyone. Like, there's a community for everyone. No matter how fucking weird you are, how obscure your interests are, there's, there's like, a spot for you, you know. And, like, there's a spot for you on the internet. You have a community. You know, I haven't found mine yet, sadly. All these years of being on on the on the internet. But that's what I hope Chow Sway does. I hope, I hope Chow Sway helps me find... My community, my or my people, you know. I just, I just want to be, I just want to f- um, find people that I like, just understand. You feel me? Like, just, just what I like the bullshit I say. You feel me? Just find the shit I, I find funny. Find the shit I find interesting. Interesting. You feel me? I think that's the main goal of all of this. Is just like finding my people, finding my people, um, type shit, and just like finding somebody to relate to. You feel me? That's what this is all about, for the main part. Like, obviously, like, we want, you know, we want, we, we just want to find people. That's really it. We want to find people. We want people who are in similar situations as us to find, be able to find people as well. So, yeah, we just, we want to connect. That's really just that we just want to connect. Because we feel, I feel just so disconnected from just reality, because, like, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't, I haven't ever found anybody that just, like, genuinely, like, you know, genuinely uh, feels, like, a similar way, you feel me, so. I've never found somebody else other than, like, Axel that's, like, on the type shit I'm on, like, dead ass, you feel me, so that's, that's, that's really, like, what I'm hoping to do with the chops, I just find, just find people that are on my same, you know, wavelength, but with that, (laughs) With, with that, with that heartfelt message, um, I feel like it's time to end it. I'm pretty impressed I was able to ramble for like 35, how, how long has it been? 38 minutes. I'm pretty impressed with myself, so yeah. Anyways, good night everyone. Peace out. Bye. Chops way. I actually have nothing to say. Uh, shout out to.